What's up, everyone? It's time again for a weekly watch list. What this is is my favorite level slash setups for the upcoming week with reasoning and a game plan. Also, if you stick around to the end, I have a swing trade on watch for this coming week. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to my channel, click that thumbs up button, and click that bell icon so you do not miss on any of my upcoming videos. Let's get right into SPY here, ticker SPY, one of my favorite ETFs to day trade with options. So basically, I'm looking for a bounce down here around this 429.62 for calls. If we get down there, I'm not for sure we will. You can see we closed green on the daily time frame here. We could see a retracement. We'll see. If we do, I'm looking for a possible put entry for a reject at 443.9. So 429.6 for a bounce for calls or a reject at 443.9. Always wait on confirmation. Never take these trades um, unless you see you know, signs of reversal. The reasoning behind these levels are, this is a nice support on the daily time frame. Remember, higher time frame, the more significant the level is. And this is a nice resistance slash area of confluence on the daily time frame. Two key levels this week, I feel. Now let's take a look at my SPX levels. Here are my updated SPX levels for the upcoming week. This is just basic support and resistance, areas of confluence. I feel if we can lose this 4335, this 4300 area is going to be a big area to watch for bounce. I use SPX when I'm trading ES futures or SPY options. Um, here lately, I have been trading SPX options as well, but I'm watching all three of them together. Honestly, it's just a preference which one you want to trade. You can trade ES futures, SPX options, or SPY options, but Anytime you're trading ES futures or any of them for that matter, be sure you're watching these levels here on SPX. You never want to take SPY calls below resistance on SPX if you're day trading because it's going to hit it reject to stop you out. Everyone takes SPY puts above uh, support. It's going to bounce, stop you out. Just be aware of you know where you're at on SPX. It tends to have the more dominant support and resistance levels. I'm watching ticker JPM this week for a bounce. Down here around this 143.76, it's a huge area on the daily time frame. Definitely going to be watching this for a day trade for a bounce. Honestly, if you see right confirmation, this could turn into a swing trade as well. Just be sure you know how to identify that type of trade and manage it. What I want to see, I want to see is to have a nice push down, signs of reversal, grab some calls here. But be sure you pay very close attention to the calls, uh, the options on JPM, because sometimes the spreads are a little bad. Be sure you have liquidity in them, which one you choose, which strike. If you don't understand that, I have a video on that as well. So be sure to check that out. Uh, this is a possible swing trade ideal I was talking about on SQ, a very familiar stock among day traders. And a nice bullish candle here on the daily form. As long as we can hold this at close on Monday, I may consider taking a swing trade on this to the upside. Should see that 61.65 and above that, we should head back to that nice resistance around that 68 area. This is just a trade ideal, in my opinion. If it doesn't match your, you know, trading criteria, stay away from it. But this is something I'm watching for a possible reversal. We're down here on this daily support and a huge move down, approaching being oversold down here. So something I'm definitely going to watch. My stop loss, if I do take this trade, it'll be a close on the daily below 54.73. That's how I manage it personally. So I'll size accordingly for this trade. And that's it for this week. I just want to say one more thing before you all go. If you haven't joined us in Team Bull trading community I'm part of, now's the perfect time to come join us. We'd love to have you. I'll leave a link in the description. I trade live there every day. I get on voice. We have all kinds of amazing traders in there and amazing people. It's a family environment. We'd love to have you all. And that's all I have for this video. Appreciate you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.